Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Dr... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth. I must confess, I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please share the address. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. You cannot expect the newspapers to expose the truth while the war is still raging. I can assure you that the situation here is desperate. Well, that's news then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? For the thrill of it? Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids? And all the random violence? Please, sir, this is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. London's Lone Gourmet. What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. 
Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you will take care of yourself. Please, sir. Whether you need to buy something or not, I am happy to help. A restaurant where the guests are blindfolded before being seated. Intriguing. Dr. Reed. A great night, what? I have found a restaurant that could satisfy you, Mr. Russell. The most intriguing and exotic restaurant in London. Really? You have piqued my interest. Where is it? It's a place where you eat in complete darkness and try to identify your meal without anything but your palate. My, oh my, how interesting. It could even be fun to eat a little poisson et fruit that way. Oh, oh, thank you, Dr. Reed. Please, have this for your research. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. 